Are you guys one of those people who are just snoozing your alarm and not getting up on the first one? So I was also like that, but my daily morning routine helped me to get rid of this bad habit, having 10 alarms. So let's move on to my morning routine. And this guy's the lemon water aka magic potion of Jacob will make you feel much more better than some coffee. It will make your body feel hydrated again. And because I'm still really not a morning person and trying to convince myself to eating breakfast every day even my tummy is not much comfortable for breakfast, I am still forcing myself and trying to make my breakfast like quick and simple. So. It's most of the time really just oats with the protein yogurt or protein pudding like this. And the first thing I do guys in the morning is having those cold baths or cold showers. I've been doing those ice bathing and cold <laughs> water juice for so many years and it really helped me a lot. I changed so much. I became a calmer person. I can manage to control my emotions, my madness, angriness like those. Not only it helps me to feel more awake in the morning when I'm really not a morning person, but also it releases hormone dopamine, which is the best thing you can get in the morning. And when we talk about dopamine, like, what is that? It's actually a hormone which is responsible that People feel like satisfied, they feel motivated, happy, they feel pleasurable. It's one of those characteristics you want to feel in the morning when you are really not into your work. And there are actually two types of dopamine, like the cheap one and the more valuable one. When talking about those cheap ones, the many people will do in the morning, like smoke a cigarette or some kind of nicotine or better way alcohol which is actually not that cheap dopamine, it's actually more expensive than that valuable dopamine because doing a cold shower in the morning or having a cigarettes, you can ask yourself what's the cheaper version and what's the healthier version but I'm not the perfect one, still I'm using both of those ways like still I'm addicted to nicotine, trying to stop myself but not successful and the second thing which is really important for me in the morning is like being hydrated like after do so many hours sleeping your body is dehydrated so you need to drink some plain water before drinking coffee try to avoid those sodas, coca colas and things like that and when talking about uh, why you should avoid the first drink in the morning a coffee is because there is another hormone in the play, which is cortisol. This hormone is released when your body is stressed. And the point from being sleeping to being awake, that's a huge stress for body. Your body is shocked. The amount of cortisol in the morning is one of the highest levels. So actually, there is no need to drink coffee in the morning because one of the side effects of caffeine is that it's increasing the cortisol. So. As many people say they cannot start working in the morning without their first coffee It's not because of the caffeine, could be because of the amount of sugar they put into it I used to drink coffee in the morning for so many years but I stopped After I stopped I really could see no difference in my mornings Those were my three tips from me What I do in the morning Try it out, you will see the difference, you will feel better And here we are with the another video like day in our lives with Gwen So guys, welcome to another video I hope you will enjoy this video And you will find a couple of information in this And it will be helpful for you So guys, and here I am with my working uniform You can see it's really not that formal it's giving you a little advice that my work is really one of those office works. So right now I'm going to work, but before going to work, there is one thing I need to do. Do you love me? I love you too. Mm -hmm. 
Hey guys, good morning. Today, I also want to show you my daily routine. As you can see earlier, I was arranging the bed before I start doing anything else. Because I learned that in our Filipino culture, we were taught by our parents since we were kids that if you are the one who wake up late, you should be the one arranging the bed. If you will not follow the rules, your Asian mom will beat you as spatula. <laughs> As for breakfast, I usually have eggs and tomato with me. So what I hate the most about cooking eggs is the flipping time. So let's see if I have a talent on how to flip this. Because every time I flip the egg, I always fail. So let's see if this time I fail. Oh my god. Ah! Ah! But I still have three hours. Always wake up three hours before my school time because it takes so much time for me to prepare. <laughs> Men are always preparing in just 30 minutes, but women cannot prepare in just 30 minutes. Never. Even one hour is really hard for us. So don't be surprised if I'm gonna eat by my hands. That's really how we are, Filipinos. In the Philippines, we have this culture of taking a bath early in the morning before going to school or before going to work or if you don't have any daily responsibilities. We have a full bath at night so I wash my hair and I also wash my body. In the morning, I only wash my body so we call it in the Philippines as half bath. Skincare time! I always have this CeraVe. This one is really good. I don't have any breakouts. Usually add just a pinch of it. Then, make my face wet. Then, wash. I wash my face with a lukewarm water. Not too cold and not too hot. Every morning and every evening, after I wash my clean with CeraVe, I always have this rice water. Koreans are using this rice water for their clear skin and I can also see some differences on my face. My dark spots have been fading or my skin became light. So I'm done washing my face with rice water. So all you need to do is wait up until it will dry on your skin. Do not wipe anything, just wait. It will dry by itself. My face is already dry. Let's do this. Then my moisturizer. So I always have this kind of skincare every morning and also in the evening. Moisturizer. And do you know what's Asian secret? Especially Koreans, sunscreen. Even if it's winter, autumn, even if you're inside the house, you should wear sunscreen all the time, every day. And Asian secret is sunscreen. That's why Asians doesn't age. So guys, my Kai decided I'm not going to work. It wants me to stop, but there is there is no way I can skip work. But still, it's quite good to have Christmas every day. The dashboard of our car is like a Christmas tree.
once I'm done at work, mostly it's me going for groceries because I commute by car and when commutes by public transportation, it's much more easier for me to carry the groceries. And now finally going home. I'm home from work and now it's time to do my duties. Today is actually a Thursday and Thursday is always a shaving day so we are going to shave Gwen's beard. <laughs> it's actually the shaving day for me. I'm going to become a human again and this is the way how I do it. Like I am kind of simple person I would say about myself. I like the things simple and sometimes I would say like old fashioned. So I also enjoy the old fashioned style of shaving. And here we are finally done at work. This is Gwen. This is Jacob. Who we really are like. I'm actually a Czech citizen. Gwen is a citizen of the Philippines. Like we've already been together for three years. After we've met on Omega, we started like talking online. And after that, um, after almost two years in a relationship, when COVID was done and the lockdown was already lifted, he decided to, to visit me in the Philippines for one month. So we met there for the first time, like personally, then we spent time together. And after six months that Cuba visited me in the Philippines, I decided to come here now in the Czech Republic. So I came here last year, October, and then it's been almost, it's been eight months since I've been here. We came through the horrible process of getting Schengen visa which Gwen needed to get here to Czech Republic but we were successful, Gwen was able to get here now we are living happily here happily married Where's the ring? <laughs> here are the rings, we are not wearing <laughs> and still thinking how is going to be our future, if it's going to be here in Czech or in the Philippines mm -hmm. or anywhere else in the world. So guys, if you are new to this channel, welcome. If you've already seen our videos and you like them, like please hit the subscribe button. And subscribe button and join us on our journey. And right now when we are already done at work, we are going to move in our day like what we do after work in today's plan we are having a gym session that's one of the options we do in the afternoons it's also different sometimes than gym but this time it's gym session so let's go to the gym So right now guys, we are already done with workout. I'm enjoying after workout protein bar and someone is enjoying the whole mango. <laughs> and right now guys, we are already home from the gym. I'm going to prepare dinner and during that Gwen is going to finish her things. So... It's my turn to make dinner. I actually like cooking, like I prefer the simple kind of recipes like Asian and Italian. As you can see, I'm going to prepare spaghetti. There is not a specific recipe, that's something of my own, what was available in the fridge. Like just make it quick, simple. Like it's not really a huge amount of protein, this recipe, as you can see, but I like it. And I was like craving for it actually. Currently we are done eating dinner with Gwen. I'm going to clean the kitchen so it will be nice and tidy. 
in the morning like I always prefer to get up and you can start your day in a clean place and right now we are going to do like evening hygiene brushing your teeth and then we are going to sleep here we are guys here we are in the end of our day with Gwen like it's not every day the same sometimes when we are done after work we go to the gym or we are just staying here recording and editing videos or just when we are being lazy just laying in a bed or sleeping or going outside for a walk so every day is different i hope guys it was interesting video for you i hope you enjoyed it and you get to know us better and thank you for watching this video if you like hit the like and subscribe button and see you in the next video